Grooms for Animator Reviews. I'm Rayanne, and this is The Groom, and we watched The Girl on the Third Floor as suggested by our good friend Mike, so thank you for that. Is he really our friend? He's our friend. Because I feel like he isn't our friend after. He didn't even watch this movie and told us to watch it. The reason why he suggested this movie is because it stars CM Punk, who is in wrestling, and The Groom's a big wrestling fan, so mm -hmm. there's that. Uh. And there's the only good thing about the movie. No, I'm just so, uh, the movie starts out with Don, who is played by CM Punk, who recently bought a big, beautiful house in the suburbs and is trying to get it ready all by himself before his pregnant wife moves in and they give, or she gives birth, I guess, six months later. Mm -hmm. Or I forget how math works. I whatever. So, um. He's not really well equipped to be renovating a home on his own. He doesn't really know what he's doing. He doesn't have enough tools. And there's some really weird stuff about this house. Uh, in the opening of the movie, there's like a gash in the wall that has some black goop coming out of it. And um, substances resembling uh, semen coming out of outlets which I cringed every time he went to plug something into the outlet because I was just I... expecting him to get electrocuted. <laughs> just, you know... Immediately what I thought. Nasty. Nasty. Nasty boy. Nasty. This movie... We always have the subtitles on. This is on Netflix. And regardless, we always have the subtitles on. <sighs> and if I would have taken a shot every time it said squishing sounds, I would have died. Just dead. Liver, Done. Gushing. Gushing. Squishing. squishing. Ugh. Like. Moist sound. If the word moist makes you uncomfortable, this is not the movie for you. There Ugh. are so many scenes. Like, he comes in the house with his dog, Cooper. And, uh, gross. Stop it. And, uh, he's, you know, putting his tools down, whatever. Putting his cooler down. And the dog runs up to a room where there's just, like, a discarded condom in a pot oh this is making me nauseous in a pile of you know what looks you, you know what it looks like mm -hmm. and the dog's just oh i'm gonna throw up starts the dog just it. starts licking it and we're both like that wasn't necessary that's, uh, that wasn't necessary i uh to him cleaning it up <laughs> stop it stop so gross. stop it this, this movie is disgusting it's cringy it's squishing sounds it will make you uncomfortable don't eat egg drop soup and watch this movie because uh, you're gonna have a bad time that's solid advice it's solid so we find out that uh the house that they got is mostly financed by his wife liz because um he's in a lot of trouble for defrauding his clients out of their 401s or benefit packages retirement funds. Yeah, so um, he's on thin ice. His wife has her own company. She's really, you know, doing well and kind of supporting the family, which would lead us to believe that's why Don's taking it upon himself to fix up the house for her and the child. So he feels like he's contributing something at least to the family. So another unfortunate part is this house used to be um, a brothel. Old timey Ye old timey whorehouse. And some horrible murders happened there, one of which is still kind of unsolved as they never found the body. And uh, weird things start happening. He's not supposed to be drinking, and he's totally drinking the whole time. Um, he is outside after an unfortunate plumbing incident where he's just covered in this brown stuff, which also made me want to vomit. That was great. That was disgusting. But, oh, like, you knew was... it was coming because he, I think he had, like, a <laughs> hammer. Hammering. And he's under the sink just hammering willy-nilly, as you do, oh. and hits something, and it just explodes in his face. And you're just like, oh, my God, that, what? So, he's outside hosing himself off, and uh. he meets Sarah, who is just, like, there. all hormonal and, like, what up, daddy? Like, hey, you know. And, of course, as the, the kind of, he's not... He's somewhat sympathetic, but, like, he does cheat on Liz, who's pregnant and supporting the family. And uh, it's pregnant. with Sarah, unfortunately. And just weird things keep happening. There's this reoccurrence of marbles that they just keep, you know, they're just ghosts rolling through the house. And at one point, I believe he does pick one up and swallow it. No, no, who, no. Who knows why? The dog eats one. The dog does eat one, but he, he picks one up and swallows and it. And he turns to the dog and goes, 
don't look at me, you're going to be the one who has to shed that out later. Yeah. And I laugh so hard at that. So there's all these elements of something paranormal happening as the dog, as they do, goes into random dark spots and just barks. He's mm-hmm. barking at something evil. And we don't know what it is. We can't see it. We don't know why it's there. Um, he gets visited by the pastor from the church across the street. Who just, like, vaguely talks about things and asks very random, deep questions that you typically wouldn't ask someone you just met about maybe his sobriety, his job, his marriage, particularly his marriage. All signs point to weird things. So weird. So disgusting. We're gonna leave it off here as it is spoiler-free. I feel like I painted a pretty good, disgusting picture of this movie. Stop laughing at me. (laughs) I'm nauseous just, like, talking about this movie. The Queen of Gore was completely grossed out by this movie. There's I certain enjoyed it. substances you just don't like. You watched Salvo, or Salo, whatever that movie was called. Salo. The poop-eating right. movie. There's a difference between poop and, like, sputum and ejaculate. There's a huge difference. Because it's probably easier to clean up poop. Because it's solid. It's usually solid. Anyway. That's so far off topic. <laughs> what did you like about this movie? Um, the thing I really enjoyed about it is, much like a previous movie that we reviewed, this movie centricates around CM Punk's character, Don. He has literally 90% of the screen screen time, and it's... I think he did a great. I think he did a great a great job for having very minimal acting experience. He seemed be- believable. His acting wasn't like top tier. It wasn't the best, but I think he really portrayed a believable char- character, and he played the douchebag role pretty well. Which, if you th- if you think about it, that's kind of like you know sometimes he played that role when he was a heel in wrestling. He played kind of the douchebag anti crowd role. So it's, you know, so it's not hard to believe that his acting would be good because when you play a, char- a character in wrestling, it's somewhat a- acting. So it shouldn't be that big of a surprise that he could play it as well. But I think he did a phenomenal job. I really, I really did like his acting. And that be- that being said, I've, that and the fact that how cringy this movie was, it made you uncomfortable. And finally, towards the end, we got really good gore. I guess. I mean... Like almost the whole movie. I did a great, great hammer scene. The hammer scene. Hammer was time was great. Hammer time was great. That was one of the best hammer kills I've seen in a movie. It was amazing. You will not be disappointed in that. Um, what did you like? Uh, <laughs> and... uh, I mean... I thought that the story was interesting. Um, Apparently it was loosely based on a true story. Very loosely based, I'm sure. Like a because haunted whorehouse that somebody tried to renovate and weird shit started happening. I, uh, um, I liked the story. Uh, what did I like about this movie? I liked Cooper. He's a dog. He's you, cute. You like that it ended fast? It didn't. <laughs> it didn't end fast. Um, I mean, you're really struggling to find something you I'm, like about this movie. She's this 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 can be your first negative star review. No, I liked this more than I liked Taurus Trap. No, did I? Taurus Trap didn't make me want to throw up. Constantly. Constantly. Throughout like ninety percent of the sounds. movie. Uh, I mean, there's there's one gag. In the end of the movie, involving a box cutter. That was really good. I liked that. Oh, I'm not going to give it away. That was a brutal But scene, the effects though. were really nice. They were very practical. And I liked that. That's everything my like. Pra- everything was practical. I don't think... I, I didn't see any CGI in it. At least that I remember. I just couldn't get over all the squelching. I... The one thing, another bonus, bonus like, is when when I was looking into like the the actresses from this movie, the one person who uh, they call her the they call her the nymph. She's constantly bound in rope and stuff like that, and contorted. You f- you found out if you look up the actress, she's actually a burlesque dancer, which which 
completely understands why she's so able to contort herself in those like crazy positions and stuff so that was a nice that was a bonus like plus other than cm punk there weren't really big big names in this movie Mm -mm. you know and he's like just a big name because of like wrestling he's not a big name actor this is not a like nor a dislike but while we're watching the movie like 10 minutes into it i'm like why does he look so familiar but like i don't watch wrestling i know what cm punk looks like but why did why does he he looks so familiar and i pulled up a picture of uh ted Raimi on my phone i'm like oh my god oh my god and i'm like pause the movie and i'm like holding my phone up and joey's like yeah i see it i'm like that's all i can see that's all i can see now but like his i never realized his voice was that deep oh cm punk mm-hmm. he's that's real gravelly natural, that's his natural voice Oh, so glad he wore his natural voice. Phil, what did you dislike about the Phil movie? Brooks is his real name. Okay. Um, what did I dislike about this movie? I just like the obviousness of it. Everything was like, oh yeah, you know that's that. Did I not call things? You know, like it was like right before they happened. Yeah, it was. You could see what was going to happen a mile away. It didn't have any twists. It didn't have any like surprise ending. You knew everything pretty much. Uh... The other thing I just liked is I thought the, the pastor was an unnecessary care and character, to be completely honest. She really did nothing. She drank, what, whiskey? Yeah, she brought she him over a bottle. She sat on the bo- porch and drank she whiskey. She brought him a bottle of whiskey and then asked him about his sobriety. <laughs> she's not very good at her job. Oh my god, no, she's not. Anyway, what did you dislike? Other than everything else about the oh movie. Oh my god. So... <laughs> there's a uh, animal death in the movie. I hate that. They don't show it happen. They allude to it, you and saw, it made me really sad. You saw it coming a mile away. You knew it was gonna happen. Like the second you saw the dog, you're like, "That's that that dog's done." Mm-hmm. Made me sad. I don't like that. I don't feel like the movie benefited in any way from having that. Um, it was very predictable. Um, there were a lot of lingering shots of Dawn. Just in the dark going. <laughs> He's looking around. Real like, oh, oh, what was that? Oh, what was that? Like some weird stuff's going on in your house. There's just random marbles doodly doodling around your floor. You're not going to be like, hmm, this is haunted. I'm going to get out of here. No, I'm going to renovate this. Oh, what? Black goo in my wall? Like best case scenario, that's black mold and you're going to die. Worst case scenario, your house is trying to kill you or something. Like, get out of there. The thing when he's video calling his wife and he never says bye or I love you. I brought that up. Click. Yeah. And she'd be like, okay. Like, he he would call her Bunny, which we call the cat Bunny. So I was really excited about that. And at one point he was like, hey, Bun. And like, I call the cat Bun. So I call you Bun sometimes too. But I was really excited about that. And she's like, okay, love you. And he's like, beep. Come on. He never says bye. Like, yeah, that's he never says bye. Yeah. He never says I love you, and they never touch on those things. But I'm sure, like, like things are stressed between them. Like, he's cheated on her before, and she's mm-hmm. aware of it. She's aware that he And he literally just avoided federal prison yeah. by copying out a plea deal. I, feel, I believe it would be in his best interest to be like, I love you, you most beautiful woman in the world. Bonus dis, di, dis, uh, dislike. They don't touch on why he what he signed the deal for what he did or anything like that till literally the very end of the movie and i was like why did you have to wait that long it bothered me the whole movie I'm like well what the hell did he do yeah what did he do before because the whole movie they're alluding to like they called him king don and yada 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 and they were like, you know, you're like, oh, you're lucky you got out when you did. And, and they never talked about what he did until the very end of the movie when Liz was talking to the pastor. And you're just like, oh. And you're like, oh, well, why couldn't you say that at the very beginning? Mm-hmm. Like, why did you have to leave that hang the whole movie? And it just, wah, wah. Yeah. oh, he was just defrauding people out of their retirement funds. Ugh. I also like didn't understand why they kept putting him in khakis and i don't know why that bothered me so much i have no idea why that bo- like if you're gonna renovate a house why would you be wearing like the lightest colored clothing possible like this isn't gonna get messed up like you do it in an old band t-shirt because you're gonna get paint everywhere unrealistic also like 
why wasn't he reacting to things more, like, realistically? <laughs> like, hmm, there's semen coming out of the outlets. Like, why... Oh, I should move. And why is my outlet so excited? Why would you keep plugging things into it? You're gonna get electrocuted. The gushing. Like, bleh, So disgusting. Like, I just... Uh... There's so many... Th- and the weird, like, what a twist thing at the end. I still... Come on. That's so dumb. It was so weak, and it was so... I feel like they threw it in last minute to be like, oh, this is a good versus evil type thing. Because is it really, though? And, like, what lesson did we learn at the end? Or what lesson did the characters who survived till the end learn? Mm-hmm. Who knows? I did... <sighs> Why marbles? Well, no, they hinted on that because... They... they once! They, at the, the marbles ve- were such a strong part of the movie. It's just the like, <laughs> to end, the marbles. At the very end, they explain the marbles. Dumb. And then, like, at the very, very end, the marbles are back for no good reason. Why are they back? Why are the marbles back? Well, the vent thing. Never the mind. vent. Why, though? But why? But why? But why? Why did we watch this movie? Because <laughs> of Kudish. I love him so you much. Bastard. I love you, buddy. Um, Until I see you in Perkman. I was texting him last night, and I said that we watched the movie, and he's like, oh, do you recommend it? And I said, I don't know. I still don't know. I personally <laughs> did not, I would not recommend this. I, I just. What would you rate it? I would rate it like a one, because can zero be a rating? <laughs> a one, because the dog's real cute. I I, don't know. I would give this a three out of five. Are you kidding? Like I like I said, I loved CM CM Punk in this. I thought he did a great job. I thought I thought the majority of the acting was strong. Sarah was a believable psycho. She had that she had that look. She had that crazy girl look. You know. Had a few ex girlfriends like that. Um The thing I really liked is I liked how uncom- this is a movie you show to people to mess with them. To make them uncomfortable. I wouldn't pick this movie. Oh, I, would. I have like a no, bunch of movies up my get, sleeve that I could can, use to make people feel uncomfortable. You can do. Have like, you seen Feed? That will make do, you uncomfortable. You can do like the goriest stuff and everything like that. And there are people that can handle that, like you, you can handle all the gore in the world. But this movie will screw with you. It's not because it's not it's, it's not scary. Of, no, it's not scary. It's not it's not really that gory or anything. That it's just a constant state of uncomfortableness because of all the weird, gooey shit coming out of the walls. It was oh, I love this movie. I absolutely loved this movie. I can't wait to tell people to watch this. Please, please, don't. <clears throat> and I can tell all my wrestling fan friends to watch this because CM Punk's in it, and that's how I will lure them in. Does his voice kind of sound like Henry Rollins to you? A little. Yeah. They talked about 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 him actually playing because Henry Rollins apparently is making a movie about his life, and and CM Punk would he said CM Punk would be one of the people to play like a younger version of him. I love him simply because of the tattoos and everything like. Yeah, they that. have matching Pepsi tattoos, right? <laughs> <laughs> but um. Yeah, no, I I would give it I I'd give it a three out of five. Like I said, the story starts out strong. The story, the base of the story, it does. The base of the story is good. the The premise of it as the word I said. The premise of the story is good. I just really felt like they could have done better with it, because the whole premise of the it's a haunted horror house and blah 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 blah. I think they could have done better with it. Like you said, I think they rushed it. They kind of threw stuff in at the end, like, oh, we got to put a twist in there, and just, it, it went flat at the end for me. I don't think it that they... ended so much better. I don't think that they rushed it. I think that they did have some pacing issues, because the parts that took a very long time could have been a lot shorter. Oh, he I don't mean pacing s- of the movie. I meant, like, I think they rushed writing the movie. Probably. I mean, like, a lot of the scenes where he's just, like, in the dark looking, like, confused could have not been in there just looking around you know and you know all all phases of this renovation we didn't really need to see we just needed to see like the you stuff, know the stuff a little a little story telling a little build up and then yeah. like get to the good stuff and throw some lie on it and whatever you're gonna do in this movie and squelching sounds 
squishy and squelchy That's, and oh, moist. Sounds. No. Uh, so, did you like this movie? No. I no, liked I did. This movie. Do you think I liked this Please movie? Please leave a comment below if you liked this movie. Leave a comment below if you didn't like this movie. Leave a comment if moist, squishy sounds make you uncomfortable. I can't believe I found a movie that you got uncomfortable with, and I was like, this is awesome. It's not the movie that made me uncomfortable. It was the simulated ejaculate coming out of... The outlets. The outlets. And, like, there's one part where he's, like, hitting the walls in the house, and it's like, ugh. And, like, blood squirts up out of the sink, which I'm totally behind. But then, like, there's a part where it's like, and it's, you know, what it looks like. We're all adults here. I just... Uh. Like the video and leave a comment if you think I should make the groom watch Feed, because he's never seen that. And yeah. that is a movie that I like to watch to make people feel uncomfortable, because nobody looks at you the same after you watch that movie. I don't know if I want to watch this movie. You're going to watch it. You'll love it. All right. Tell them where to find you. Um, oh. Hit the bell for all notifications of further uploads and live streams. You can find me on Facebook at Reanimator Reviews, Twitter and Instagram at Reanimator. My solo as well as reviews with the groom are available on iTunes in podcast form. Thank you to the Farsighted Network. We love you guys so, so much. Don't forget to check out all of their awesome creators and content as well. Where can they find you? You can find me on Twitter under repeat groom Ray. You can also find me on Twitch under repeat Ray Animator. Oh, this was a movie. Yeah, it was disgusting. You know, this is why I'm glad we don't have a third floor. Because we have one floor. <laughs> thank God. Thank God, because this makes me not want to have a third floor. I just want a basement. Because it's always <laughs> cold in the basement. I mean, you saw what happened in the basement in this movie. Well. See you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>